In Chinese cultural geography, there are two important rivers, the Yangtze River and the Yellow River. Ancient Chinese civilization emerged from these two river basins, and Hubei province holds a pivotal position in the development of the Yangtze River civilization. Hubei province is an important birthplace of Chinese civilization and Chu culture in Midland China. Millions of cultural relics from the ancient Yangtze River culture are stored here in Hubei. Today, I will introduce you to the magnificence of traditional Hubei culture at the Hubei Provincial Museum. Hi everyone, I'm Rachel from the United States. Before I came to Hubei, I heard that this is a province full of many cultural relics, and many treasures have been unearthed here in the Yangtze River Basin. Today, I'm at the Hubei Provincial Museum. Let's go and see if we can unlock the secrets of the Yangtze River. see if I can learn how to play. Let's go check it out. Hello, hi, hi, hi. Nice, hi. nice to meet you. you. Can you show me how to play? Of course. Oh, that's amazing. Can we play together with everyone? Okay. And can you guide my hands and show okay. me how? Okay. Wow, that was awesome. I feel like a real chime player now. Thank you, you're a great teacher. After learning how to play the chime bells, I'm so excited to learn more about the history of them. They have a long history of more than 2,400 years in China. Let's go learn more about them. Lots of tourists are attracted to the Chu culture and want to visit this museum. More than 240,000 ancient relics are stored and displayed here, including chime bells from the tomb of Marquis Yi of the Song State, the sword of Gojian, the bronze zun pan unearthed from the tomb of Zheng Ho Yi, This is the sword of Gojian, one of the treasured relics of the Hubei Provincial Museum. It was buried underground for 2,500 years and is still sharp and shines like new. The tip of the sword is a round disc shape while the pommel is composed of 11 concentric circles. It's hard to believe people could cast such a magnificent weapon 2,500 years ago. Yes, I'm I do. the docent here. Uh -huh. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, could you tell me more about these chime bells? Yeah, you see, it has 65 bells. Somebody call it like um, the ancient piano because each bell can produce two notes, just like the black and white keys on the piano. And the whole set can produce five and a half octaves. It has a big musical range. Yes. You see the piano has more than 300 years history and the chime bells has a history of more than 2,400 years. It's much, much older. Mm -hmm. So when were these discovered? Um, they were found at uh, 1978 at the Suizhou city in uh, Hubei province. Um, at that time, they were supposed to build a factory, but they found this by accident. <laughs> oh, it must have been a big surprise to yeah. find that. But it's so cool that it was found right around here in Hubei province in the Yangtze River Basin. There's such a long history with these bells. It's amazing to see. Are there many other things to see here in the museum? Yes, I want to show you a bronze sword. It's amazing. 
Let's go. These ancient relics displayed here are a man-made miracle that fully show the Chu culture. This is Jingzhou, the place the sword of Gojian and many cultural relics were found. In here, people unearthed lots of silks and wood liqueur wares with delicate and luxurious decorative patterns. These silk wares from 2,000 years ago are still in a good condition. Besides silk wares, the wood liqueur wares here are also worth seeing. Due to the special underground condition around the Hanjiang rivers in Jingzhou, these wood liquor ware are still well preserved after 2,000 years. You can imagine what life was like during that time from these wood cups, bottles, and pots. Now I'm in the Cultural Relics Protection Center of the museum, where they do research and restore artifacts that have been damaged. Just like these ones here, you can see the before and after they've been restored at the museum. I'm going to find Dr. Zhang now, who specializes in cultural relics protection. In his hands, these ancient artifacts find new life. Wow. Hi, Nihal. Zhao Shi is an expert at repairing these ancient books. So what are you repairing here in this room? This is a book of ancient books. It is a book of ancient books. It is a book of ancient books. It is a book of so how do you actually repair them? Since I just experienced taking the rust off of another artifact, I wonder if I can try to clean these books. Uh, 我可以试试吗? 可以。Uh,贾老师,你可以教我我做什么? Oh. That must take so long to clean every single paper in every book. After the books have been repaired and restored, then she will put all the pieces together and flatten them out to make sure that they lie together like a book should. Thank you so much for showing me how to. Bye-bye. <laughs> It's been an amazing day at the Hubei Provincial Museum. And while I didn't have time to see everything, I did get to see the famous Guojian sword and also learned how to play the chime bells. I've learned so much more about how Hubei Province is an important birthplace of the Yangtze River civilization. There are many more museums to explore in Hubei Province with their own cultural relics and stories to share of their own.